Alright, let's get on with this part 21 of this gameplay series of Red Dead Redemption 2 story mode. Alright, let's get on it. Dunk on it. Okay, let's do Dutch. Alright, see you there. Okay, boy. Yep. Dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Gray. How are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still... I feel you were hard done by losing your employment like that. But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies, you have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good, honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. And the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down. A Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Archibald, how are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. 
This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course! Who else would be? But you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. Suits you, Miss W. Yeah, I thought so too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa, whoa! Hold up. You see that wagon? Don't look good. Oh. Come on, mister. Keep your eyes open. Damn, why? I swear they got it in for me. You could try washing. No. This must have happened recently. Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. Look, suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay, we should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Right. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell, Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. A bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. Easy. We ain't in that much of a hurry. Go right at the crossroads. Yep. Not the nicest fellers in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. They're right again here. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher. Hey, hey, not so fast! Drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. Here we are. So, what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaites, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. We need to get moving now, deputy.
round them up, then take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. What are See? you waiting for? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. How handle this? Well, the way I see Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill. Me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. I find I need this bastard up. I, I think there's another one by the still. Gentlemen. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so I think you're real funny, don't you? Tell me about the <laughs> That is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, um, Good explosives. Please tell me you're almost done, Arthur. Hey! That belongs to the Lord Raiders, you sons of bitches! Arthur, we got some trouble here! Look out, we got more trouble! Ah.
on Dutch and get out of here. Fine by me. Quick, let's go before any more show up. Well done. Well, forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it for personal consumption. It's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. But my cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life right. on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes, show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always? From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Jose written all over it. This is starting to sound like the young Dutch again. What do you mean, young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay. On my word. Set, go! Yeah! You never were much of a rider. We'll see about that. Yeehaw! You okay there, old man? Choo-choo, son of a bitch!
quite so good at running away. Arthur. Oh, I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're... I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. Okay, I might as well try another, uh, yeah. Another mission. I'll be doing this. Away from me. Oh, but, but, but I got a tip. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Oh, it's a goodie, I'm telling you. It always is with you. Then we end up hidden in a burning barn getting shot at. You're a sad man, oh. Arthur Morgan. Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah. Uh. Just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> All right then. Let's go rob some food. Way on me. Easy. Yeah. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a... a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west is... Out west is out west. And you're all... Who you are. Right. Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge different. Well, I, 
Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold still shiny. And their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna wanna strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Well, we got some wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Now where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? You see that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. I'm gonna try not to die a whole bunch of times. Or try not to die at all. Look at this field. Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. <laughs> hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there, the wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Huh? Right behind. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Those crates in the back. They look like explosives to you? Could be. Worth a follow, at least. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Come on. Mm. We can get a view on them from that wall up there. Bring the side and right, okay? I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. Your Just a moment. When you've had a look, tell me what to do. Hey, we came all this way, so can you look again and see if you spot anything? You got men everywhere. Off near the porch. I know dynamite crates when I see them. We got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, 
I'm always up for performing. So, what are we doing? Going in, kid. Give them both barrels a charm. Wouldn't try anything less. Both barrels of charm. Wouldn't try anything less. Uh, today is a fine and fabulous day, as all days, and so may it be. <laughs> Praise be, my people. What do you want? Praise be, my people. Praise be. <laughs> now, I come in peace to discuss the merit <laughs> of glory and interest you in eternity. <laughs> Praise be, my people. Come on, kid. Now, uh, are you? Uh, have you? Will you be saved, my brother? Praise be. Huh? <laughs> Praise be. I want you out of here now, boy. Hey, praise be, my people. Praise be. I said, get out of here. Uh, praise be. Or a, a, a great miracle shall strike you down, my family. Get out of here, you darkie. I said, a miracle shall strike you down. Get out of here, you nigger piece of shit. Praise be. over here.
Any men in the area would have heard that. They might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. These fellas dealing arms. There might be guns in these wagons. Hey, this could be promise. What do you got? We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Get up. Keep it together here. Hey! Stop! What's a black fella doing? I don't like it. Ah! Get me back! Come on, let's go! Yep. Leonard, Leonard, Leonard. I'm looking, all right? I can't see anyone chasing us. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragging. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Well, so do I. Against my better judgment. Just... You worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But... Then enough but nothing. The mean Dutch, and everyone who counts, we know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Yeah. in these trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. Keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. All right, everyone. Uh, I'm gonna be ending the video here. And if you guys uh, enjoy this channel's content, please be sure to double like or dislike, comment, and subscribe, everyone. And until I do this upload here, I'll be playing uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 on my PC, part 14. So I'll catch you on the flip side, give those tins up, and also be sure to uh, join my Discord, hang out with me on there.
So, I'll catch you in a little while. In a little while, yeah.